here comes the bacteriophage tail assembly pathway so we know here it is a very beginning of the tail which is immature part only gp or they are always called gp or glycoproteins actually so gp and this is called gpj gpi kl and mp and all these different proteins are there so three gpj proteins first assemble to provide this kind of immature structure then gpi gpl gpk and all of this kind start to arrange together to finally make a kind of tail structure like that it is first called the u minus tail or u minus tail now then what they add they are the GPU protein which is important and after adding the GPU protein they produce the tail called Z minus tail now then they add GPZ then produce what you call a matured tail so we cannot call a patch tail matured until and unless it, it is having two important proteins one is the U proteins another one is the Z proteins now usually uh, U, Z and V both of these proteins are important V is required for the virulence factors and U is required to control that and other things so to understand rest of this protein function you can uh, find small video in my youtube channel regarding this bacteriophage entry to release bacteriophage lambda entry to release in my youtube animated video you can find it and you can get the answer okay so once they have arranged this gpu gpz and finally produce a mature tail now the tail will be directly assembled with the head particle of the phage and the tail and head particle of the phage assembly uh, will take place uh, simply via uh, random process so tail and head will be attached randomly by the brownian motion theory they just attach there and then the fully matured phage is ready to infect ready to be lysed out